Hello and welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll continue our discussion about Clip Studio Paint's filters menu and some ways you can use filters to enhance your webcomics. Links to additional tutorials and information mentioned in today's video will be down in the description below. As I mentioned in the previous video, artistic filters are ones that add a unique visual element to elevate your work. Among the artistic filters, here are a few of my favorites. The Blur category offers a few different types of blur effects you can apply to your art. Use the standard blur for a quick blurring effect, or opt for Gaussian blur to control precisely how blurry you want it to be. Motion blur and radial blur are great for conveying movement and action, as they'll blur your art in different directions and shapes. One of my favorite techniques in webcomics is to add a blur effect to objects in the foreground of my panel to give the illusion of depth. By separating those objects into their own layers and then grouping them in a folder, I can adjust them like one flat layer. Then I can use one of the blur filters to give them a hazy, out-of-focus look. Now it'll seem like those objects are much closer to the reader. The distort category has a variety of filters that will directly manipulate the shape of your layer. By flipping through the various options, you can see that each will bend your work into a unique shape, which can be customized using the sliders. These filters can be great for making textures and backgrounds with a marbled look. Simply create a background with the colors and textures you want, then apply one of these filters and adjust until you get something interesting. This is great for times when you want a distinct background, but don't want to draw in too much scenery. Under the effect menu, one of the most useful filters for webcomics is the artistic filter. Simply put, this filter can add in line art and simplify colors for you. In this example, I've applied the filter over a piece of artwork that had no line art. By going to the lines only setting and adjusting the sliders to my liking, I can automatically generate line art for the work based on the colors I used. This is a fantastic feature for anyone importing photos to use for background. As an example, here's a photo I took this summer at the beach. I can apply the artistic filter and just like that, Clip Studio Paint will draw out some line art for me. Note that this works best on photos with strong contrast to help distinguish the different shapes. So if your picture is a little washed out, you may want to apply some color correction layers in advance for best results. Be sure to adjust the sliders until you get the effect you like. The convenient part about this filter is that it creates the line art on a transparent background. So you can go ahead and start coloring beneath it on another layer right away. Under the Render menu, the Perlin Noise filter allows you to create a layer of noise that is fully customizable. At larger scales, the noise is useful for creating clouds and fluffy textures, and at a smaller scale, it can work as a great overlay texture to give your art some visual interest. Finally, the Sharpen menu has a set of filters you can use to add a more intense, harsh edge to your work. When applied, this filter boosts contrast at the areas where your colors bump against each other, so your details will stand out more. This can give your work a more clean and intense look. Use the Sharpen and Sharpen More filters for a preset amount of sharpening, or try Unsharp Mask to adjust the effect manually. My favorite way to use this is by merging all my panel layers into one topmost layer by going to Layer, Merge Visible to New Layer, then applying this effect. Then I can apply a layer mask and paint over all the important areas in my work so they'll stand out in the most detail. Those are the basics for how I use filters when making webcomics in Clip Studio Paint. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.